Right, we have drawn mo All right, we've drawn Mulan, Mushu. Now let's move on to Captain Li Shang from Disney's Mulan. Well, the animated version that is not in the live action. Apparently, Li Shang was one of the characters that didn't make the cut for the live action, but that's okay. Like Mushu, Lei Sai. All right, so let's go ahead and learn how to draw Captain Li Shang. Alrighty, so we're first going to go ahead and just lay out his entire body. Now it's not a full body drawing, it's just kind of like from his hands like at his waist and up. So let's go ahead and lay out everything. And start with his head close to the top of my page. I'll round this off. And this is also a three quarter turn. So I'm gonna kind of like make he has a very long face, so you see I go this way, that way, and just make this kind of three-quarter turn, kind of to place it. I'm going to make his neck and come down over here. Really thick neck. It's just the character design of Li Shang. Then, after his neck, come on down just a little bit more. Bring out one shoulder here, and then one shoulder here. that you're gonna go ahead and bring down his chest so for right now we're just gonna bring down this chest go in come down from this shoulder and go in so he's a really broad chest and bring down this side and bring down this side and we're just gonna kind of close off the bottom here All right, we're gonna lay out his arm. So from here, we're gonna kind of like circle off this part here, go down. Bring out this side too. Bring out this side, his arm. I'm gonna jump up in here. Bring up this part of his arm. And then I'm just gonna circle downwards for his hand here and then from this side same thing and I'm bring down this arm and kind of go close off that corner of his elbow and it's creased up because he's holding his dad's sword I'm gonna go ahead and circle off this pot right here and this will flow into his elbow later and then he's holding his dad's sword so we want to make sure that these hands are lined up with each other. So this hand is at the end of the sword and this one's on the hilt. I'm going to round up this hand here. And leave it like that. So if I get rid of like this part, that's his, but we keep like the circle here. And then the circle right here for his wrist. It's, been, it's kind of a perspective look to it. All right, we have basically everything lined up. Let's go ahead and fill in the details. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and place our nose, like since it's a three quarter turn, we're gonna go ahead and place that nose guideline. And then we're gonna place the eye guideline. Just so we can keep those eyes on the same level and to determine where the middle of the face is. Now we'll start with this eye over here. You're gonna go up, off to the side. So from the corner right here, off to the side. And then you're just gonna kind of curve up into that eye that you just made. So you see, up and curve in. And then you're gonna give a little bit of space. Same over here, you're gonna just kind of curve upwards. because we're seeing more of this eye than the other side. So if I go in. And there's his two eyes, so you can kind of like soften this one a little bit more, give him more of an eyelash line. He does have a thick eyelash line, just the top one. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and give him his little pupil. Very simple pupil. Just a dark pupil when it's kind of off all the way to the side. And this one too. Then from his eyebrow, his eyebrow connects into his nose. So we start to see with his nose the awesome fashion like style that Mulan is drawn in. It's very angular, very similar to Hercules, like a lot of angles going on and fun designs. So starting from like the side of his face and bring out this eyebrow here above his eye, a really thick eyebrow that comes off to the side of his eye. You can fill that in. And then ultimately this eyebrow goes into his nose ridge then it starts to go out but for right now let's just leave that there let's jump over here to this eyebrow same level i'm going to start with this long line here kind of make a box and then bring it down all right so this line is going to go down, really long nose. We're going to kind of meet it right here because he has a really broad chin. So from here, you're going to go down, make it pointy, go in, and then go back in. Oh, way too far. You just want to make sure you don't go too much in, but it's just very angular very very different kind of nose it's very fun so from his face right here you're gonna bring this out and you go straight in and it's very sharp keep it nice and sharp to the end of where his chin was that we laid out make that sharp gets a little bit round here and then we're gonna go right into another angle so it's like nice and round sharp chin to go to an, into his ear so we'll just lay out his ear for right now let's go ahead draw his little smile I'm just gonna bring this nose down it's just a funny looking nose so I'm trying to just like very very angular and I'm trying to just keep that in there there we go that looks a little bit better that's nicer okay now from here from his smile underneath his nose we're just gonna kind of we're just gonna draw that smile line first so we're gonna draw the smile line give him a little bit of a dimple and then go underneath make it nice and wide smile round this up All right, Li Shang does have thicker lips, so we're gonna go ahead. <clears throat> I'm just gonna make like a really thin line on top of the line we made. I'm gonna give it more of a curve up here. And then down from this side, you're gonna just bring down this side, bring down this side. Jump into that smile and go up. So the thing is with Li Shang's lips, you don't want to color them in. They're a, they're more of a neutral color, just to show that he has thick lips. So you see, curve that in, and it's a thick, thicker bottom lip. All right. And I can show you his skin tones if I can uh, at the end of the video when I jump into a time lapse and color his lips in. All right, so let's do his hair. His hair is pretty simple, so we're gonna go up, bring up his forehead from his eyebrow, go up, round this up, and round this down. So from the middle of that face line that we did for his nose line. Bring down his hairline into kind of like a triangle. Go up from the side of his face. Bring this part around. And 
and then go right back down into his ear that we drew. So this part from the triangle, you're gonna loop back and bring this in and go down. So you see, up and all right, Shelby. So from his sideburn, kind of right here, you can go ahead and get rid of this line and this line and this line and this line and leave that top line there because behind his ear, so we've got his ear here. You can go ahead and give that ear a line, so go up to that top lobe, and just a little indention. There we go. That's all you need for his ear. And go back behind his ear. And this piece of his hair is back there. And then we've got his man bun back behind where this divot in his part is. I'm gonna go ahead and bring out the man bun. I'm just gonna call it a man bun. There's probably a more formal way to call it. So bring out the man bun, go it on in. And then we have his little like ribbon that holds in the man bun. So we're gonna bring this out. It's gonna kind of go off to the side. I just kind of curved it to make him look more like a ribbon. There we go. And this is all black. He has super black hair, just like Mulan. So I'll just lightly color this in. I'll color it at the end. All right, so let's go downwards just a little bit. So starting from his neck on the inside, we want to keep that neck length. He's got a really broad neck. From here, we're going to kind of bring out, see a little bit of his chest. Go in here and go in here. I'm just kind of kind of like make this like a boxed off area because this is ultimately his cape he's wearing. In the middle we're going to go ahead and make like the knot to his cape. And then I'm going to just make a crease in here. Make a little bit of like a ribbon kind of like where he tied it off. Pretty simple just like we made his ribbon in his hair. This side come out this side and fill it in. Gives it a little bit more dimension. Bring out this side too. Same over here. Kind of fill this in. Bring this in and then jump up here. Bring up this part of his cape. Go back in. Then from here, from his neck, you're gonna kind of circle in. Jump, make this little angular on top. And then jump over here. And make this part of his cape. And you can see as we're going along, where it's like go, he's getting broader and broader, and that's fine just because. At least we have a place to start. As we are getting along with his rest of his like drawing his body and everything, we're getting wider and wider for his character. That's okay because you know I always start with what I call the bones where I just sketch everything out and get everything kind of placed and then I just build off of that. That's usually what I do with all of my art pieces. I think we did that with Mulan as well. So from the cape we're gonna bring out his shoulder. Like he's got like this pointy kind of metal thing going on. It's not, I don't really know if it's metal, but it is definitely his armor. So from the cape, you're gonna go out just a little bit more and you're gonna bring down this part of his armor. And we see this part, but we're gonna bring out that arm a little bit more. And you're gonna go down roughly to where we connect to here. And you can kind of bring out that, you know, angles. Once again, lots of angles. This arm, part of it, is gonna go down. And then this part is gonna go in. So we say I, where I brought this down here and bring this part in, make a little bit of a fold. 
go down this way. And kind of round that off. You see that makes a fold for his overall elbow and his arm. And then for his armor on this side, so we got this part of his armor here. And you're just going to keep bringing this down, but you're going to leave a little bit of a gap. So you see like just a little bit of a gap and a little bit of his shirt is showing right here. And you can go ahead, bring that in, bring it down just a little bit more. See, I just lightly drew through his arm. And you can get rid of that. Just kind of clear up a couple of those lines. And then we leave a little bit of space so we can see his like the inside of his cape. It's like more of a maroon than a bright red. Now starting from this side, bring out his shoulder a little bit more from the cape. And this side of his armor, so his armor on both sides is a little spiky. So you make sure those are matched up with each other. It's a little bit spiky just like the shoulder parts. You're gonna go ahead and bring it in. Bring it in, bring it down. We can just stop there for right now and let's jump to his arm again. So we have this part of his arm. Bring it out just a little bit more. And then from here, you see how we did this fold over here? We're kind of going to do the same thing, but you're going to go up from here, from where his arm was, and kind of go down where, for, where that hand area that we kind of circled off for him. Bring down this part and go in. Now I'm just going to lightly get rid of his hand. To bring out this circle a little bit more. Because his hand's going to be right here holding the sword. I'm just going to kind of like rectangle that part off. All right, so we can get rid of this line here and this line. And this one and this one. So from this part, you're gonna go ahead from, he's got like a division. He's got a waist belt kind of. So if you want to, you can go ahead and draw that waist belt. And then from his shoulder right here from the cape, we're gonna bring down this line here. And you're gonna bring down this line. You wanna make sure they're both curved inwards. So curve here, curve here. And then from, so this one's curved down, you're gonna to go to the like, right where the arm is. You're gonna curve this one up. And it's gonna get, go down. And this line will go all the way down to here. And you're gonna make this part a little bit thick. So these little two lines that we drew, yellow and yellow, or gold and gold, whatever it's made of, and then you've got kind of like a grid line going on for this middle part of his breastplate. Now I'm just gonna round this up and draw through those little ribbons that I made. Okay, and I'm just gonna kind of make this one here, this one here, and there we go. So that's like the design to his awesome armor so this line this is gold we just leave this here but we bring this armor all the way off to the side and then he's got his waistband and then we're just gonna kind of like stop where his gray part of his uniform is and just round off the bottom there and then we get to focus on his hands and then his cape and his sword so for his hands, starting here, he does have these awesome, uh, I guess they're just like, I guess they're arm guards. So he's holding his sword, his dad's sword. 
let's go ahead and draw this hand first. I'm gonna kind of like round off here where we made that little tri that little box. Round it up, go up, and back into his wrist. So this is his wrist in the bottom of his hand. And then this finger is kind of curled around the sheath of the horse. Of oh, the horse, <laughs> the sheath of the <laughs> sword. <laughs> Sheath, I think that's right. I don't know how to talk sword language. I tried. All right, and then we're gonna separate the fingers. So we we'll make a finger here, we'll make a finger here. And that's good for right now. We got just a little bit of division of a finger right here, like he is holding it. So if I were to like give like that knuckle line, you can see it a little bit better. And that little arm guard that goes across the top of his hand, cut off the wrist, and you've got like a line here and a line right here. And you're going to bring down this line too. All right, that's his arm guard and this is black here on top and black here in the middle, but then these little pieces here are gray. All right, so let's start to draw that sword. I'm gonna go through the middle of his fingers like he, it's, he's holding it in his hand here. So we're just gonna kind of make a point for that sheath. I'm actually just gonna, I'm gonna build up off of this one and bring this down. Oh, I'm off my paper. And so this is, that's the bottom of the cover of the sword. We'll go up and then right about here is where we get to the hilt. So we can kind of like go ahead and make an oval. Ahead and round this part off. Now I'm gonna erase this part here. This part here, this part, this part, this part. Right. So now we can now we have his hand. Like it looks like it's going, like he's just hanging on to it. So this part here, it kind of matches down here. I don't know the anatomy of a sword again, I'm so sorry. <laughs> then I'm gonna round this off. You're gonna make a line on top of that to give it a little bit more dimension. And then we start to get to the hilt. You go up. And the hilt's resting in this hand, so I'm gonna have just enough room for it. So you circle this off here, and that's the top of the hilt, and it goes right into that overall shape, and then we're going to draw his hand holding the hilt. I'm going to erase lightly where we have that hilt. So what's going on here is he's holding the hilt, but he's got one finger here, that's his pointer finger. And then the rest of his three fingers are here. So one, two, and three. Not too much dimension, but they kind of go up over the hilt. And then it's gonna go swoop in. And the pinkies just kind of go back here and back behind the hilt. This way, and up this way, and then curve off this side. So it's okay. They are meant to look very rectangle-ish and very boxy. That's the design of the characters. And I'm gonna bring up the thumb back here, go up, and make it a nice boxy. And go back into the circle. And 
and you can see I can erase this part, this part, this part. All right, another thing, now we've got the sword. Another thing is he's wearing a cape. So from like the top parts of his cape, if you just wanna kind of like bring down this side here. And that's just like, I just kind of drew from where the fold were on top of here. Bring this down. Then this one, gonna go back here, bring down this side, and then bring out like this side. So this is like the inside of his cape and this is the brighter part. And I'll go ahead and show, I'll fill in some colors just so it makes a little bit more sense. So let's go ahead and jump into a time lapse. There we go, there's how to draw Captain Lee Shang from Disney's animation Mulan. I'm super sad that Lee Shang didn't make it into the live action Mulan, but whatever. Mushu didn't make it either, so yeah. <laughs> there you go, guys. There's how to draw Lee Shang, and I'll see you all later. Bye!